Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the beers today. Like I said, they're out of Abington, Maryland. This is an American Double Imperial IPA coming in at 9% ABV. Rotating schedule on this one, so uh, I can't tell you how they do it. Uh, they just do it whenever they want to, I guess. Uh, the food pairings for this cuisine is barbecue, cheeses, peppery, moderate, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and Limburger, Parmesan, all of the stronger cheeses go with, especially a double IPA. And the meat is going to be game, grilled meat, beef, uh, your strong, more pungent dishes again. Glassware is a sniffer, tulip, uh, oversized wine glass. I got the Duvel glass here, guys. That's what I like to use for these. And the beer can be cellared uh, according to the ABV, but just remember it's a double IPA. Uh, the longer you keep it, the, the more the hop characteristics are going to drop down. So it will lose some of its hoppiness over time. That's why the date is so critical on these beers. Huh? Can't carp that enough. Let's get the cap off of it and see what we got. Alright. This is a bomber 22 ounce, guys. It's a big beer. 9%. That's like two 9% beers. And let's go ahead and give it a little more aggressive pour. See if we can get this a little bit of a head here. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Just enough to give us a finger head there. Maybe a little finger and a half. That pours a very clear, amber-colored, uh, copper-colored almost, not a light coppery color. Very nice color for a double. Usually the doubles are a little darker than this. That was very nice. Very nice color. A lot of bubbles streaming up to the bottom. Let's get a nose on it and see what it's about. <sighs> Smells like a double. It's got that heavier, sweet malty smell to me or they had they had the the the, uh, the, the build grain is uh, so elevated to, to get enough sugars to create a double uh, get the alcohol up there it smells really piney really resinous a little grapefruity maybe a little mango going on there maybe some pears there too but I, I definitely smell a little bit of the alcohol which is a sweeter malt smell well, mouth is watering. I'm about to drill it myself. Cheers, guys. Well, that's really smooth for 9%. It's a little more on the sweeter side. I was expecting to have a, a really, really strong... But I'm a hop head, too, so it takes a lot of hops to really make me think it's a bitter beer. But I, I drink stuff at 16.70 on the IBUs and not bitter. <laughs> wow, very easy drinking. It really don't have a strong alcohol taste, and it don't have that strong bitter hop. To a lot of times they'll they'll uh, take hops. And if it's, a, if it's a strong beer, like a 9%, they have to add quite a bit of bittering hops to, 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 uh, to balance out between the sweetness of that much malt. So, uh, they did a good job to me as far as I'm concerned there. Wow. I like that. That is very, very pleasant. That's going to give a good score, I believe, guys. That's got a, that's got a really, really good taste, so... Let's try out the fridge, 40 degrees, we're going to let it warm up, like I always do. Uh, the claw is, uh, is getting higher and higher up on my list. Uh, I like, uh, I like uh, what they do. The mainstream beers, the IPAs and the doubles and stuff like that. Like, uh, uh, the raspberry sour is alright, but I'm not a fruity kind of beer guy. So, uh, I like this one though. Stick around. Let's see what kind of grade it gets. I'll be right back. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. 
I enjoy this beer extremely. I mean, for a double or an imperial IPA, they usually are either super sweet or super bitter. And to get the combination where both of them are, are pretty good, this is a pretty balanced one to me. So it's a little bit more on the sweeter than the bitter side. So if you like a sweeter IPA, maybe like an intense too hard a day this may be the way to go. So that being said, final chug. It's not as intense as a beer you would expect for 9%. So, uh, to me, it drinks like a 7% beer. It really does. So, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. This is an A minus on the scale tonight. Great beer has a 95 overall, which is pretty good. But they only give it a 57 in the style. So, I thought it was very easy drinking for a 9% Imperial Double IPA. Uh, beer Advocate has a B on this. Um, I mean, I, I could have went with a B, but uh, I found it very pleasant, and the beers that I have drank so far from the Claw have been pretty pretty impressive, so I like what they're doing, just need to get a date, and like I said, I haven't searched the bottle for any kind of digitized thing, but uh, it ought to be on the label where you don't have to hunt for it, so uh, that'd be the only way I would knock it down, is it's called the date and stuff, so pretty good beer, though, with some comments back on this, guys, if you've had this beer, let me know if you liked it, didn't like it, loved it, hated it. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Come back tomorrow. We're going to see what's in the fridge then. See you, everybody then.